Hello everyone, I am Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video uh, what I am going to do is I am going to uh, install all the required things on uh, the instance that I created uh, so that uh, I can get the website uh, that I showed you uh, up and running and available on the internet for accessing. So I am going to teach you how you can do that in uh, this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here is uh, the instance that I created in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, then go ahead and check that out as well. So this is the instance that I created in that video and it is uh, running. And this instance is uh, in running state as you can see. So now uh, for this video, you're going to have to install one software that is putty. So let me show you so this is the software that uh, you will need to install uh, for this video now uh, you can go ahead and search it in the google so put t and go ahead and just click on the first link that appears and okay so uh, this is uh, the link for the download so I'll give uh, these links in the description down below so that you can uh, go ahead and download this software from there so we are going to need this software to uh, generate one private key and as well as uh, to connect to this instance so now uh, this is the private key that I uh, downloaded while creating the instance. So I have shown uh, in the previous video how you can get this private key. So uh, go ahead and uh, watch that video if you haven't. So this is the private key that we are going to need. So I am going to generate one another private key using this private key so that we can use that private key on the putty software to authenticate and uh, access our instance on the AWS. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, the putty gen. So this is the software that is going to be downloaded with uh, the putty. And this is uh, the putty key generator. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load this file here. So I'm going to click on load and then I'm going to uh, search for my file and here is my file that is mykeypair.pem and I'm going to open it and here uh, this uh, private key is generated now I have to save this key so I'm going to click on this save private key and I'm going to uh, select yes and here I'm going to uh, give it the same name that is my key pair and extension here will be dot ppk so make sure uh, that this is the extension and then save and here we have this uh, private key generated now i'm going to open putty and here i have to paste the public ip address of my instance so this is uh, the public ip address so I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste it here and here I have to uh, select this SSH and then here I have to go to auth. Okay, so here I have to browse uh, the private key that we just generated. So this is uh, the private key that we generated. I'm going to open it and click on open. And here we have to uh, give the username for uh, this Linux instance. So by default, the username is ec2-user, ec2-user and enter. And there we are uh, in our instance. So let me make this screen a little bit bigger. Okay, so here we have successfully logged into our uh, remote server. So now uh, we are going to step by step install all the required things that we want. So 
here I have a list of all those things so these are all the things that uh, we are going to uh, run on this uh, instance so one by one we are going to run all these commands so first of all we are going to run this command that is sudo yum and update y so it is going to update all the uh, packages okay so it has completed the updating process now we are going to run this second command so what this command will do is it is going to install uh, the apache php mysql so all of that and the installation is completed now we are going to start our server and there we have started it so now let's check that so we have to just copy our public IP and paste it here and as you can see here we have our Apache uh, page successfully uh, shown so this means that we have installed it correctly so now let's uh, get back and uh, get going with our list so next we are going to start uh, the mysql server okay so this is also uh, started so next we are going to just uh, log in into our sql server using the root uh, username so so we haven't yet set any password for this root user and we are going to keep it uh, that way so now uh, as you can see here it this is changed to mysql so we are in the uh, mysql server right now so now what i'm going to do is uh, we are going to create another user uh, and we are not going to use the root user as our login uh, for the uh, php my admin uh, form so we are going to create whole new uh, user for our uh, managing the database so now we are going to copy this and paste it here and as you can see here the name of this user is going to be this so this is going to be the username and the password here is going to be one two three so one two three four five six i'm just keeping it simple for now and enter so the user is created now we are going to provide uh, all the privileges to this user so this is the line for that and we are going to flush all the privileges it is kind of a refresh you can say and then we are going to exit from this so we have successfully created a new user other than the root user and i will recommend you to create a new other user except uh, from the existing root user and changing the password for the root user so don't use that root user just create whole new user because root user is you know it's so common uh, these days so it's better to use a whole new uh, user for uh, managing the database and all so that is done now next we are going to run this command so these are some of the uh, extra packages that we are going to need for our uh, php my admin and it's uh, done and now we are going to restart our server then after we are going to navigate to our html folder so here we are in the html folder and now we are going to uh, download the zip file for the php my admin okay so it's downloaded let's see 
so this is that uh, tar file and now we are going to uh, have to extract uh, it so we are going to create a folder here and let's see okay so the folder is created now uh, we are going to extract this uh, zip files content into that folder okay so all the content is extracted and by the way uh, i haven't told you this so uh, if you copy these commands from here using control c then you can't paste them using the control v it is uh, not going to paste it that way so uh, you just have to uh, right click onto your mouse and it is going to uh, paste uh, the command here so this way you can paste all the uh, copied uh, lines from your text editor onto this window so now uh, we have extracted it successfully now we don't need this so we are just going to remove this using this command and now we are going to uh, restart our mysql server okay so mysql server is restarted okay so now that uh, we have installed php myadmin now uh, let's test this so the folder name is this so you have to copy exactly this onto uh, your browser url tab so here you just have to write slash then php my admin and then enter and it is going to open the php my admin page okay so here we are on our uh, welcome to php my admin page so here now we are going to uh, sign in into the user that we created that is the admin and one two three four five so let's see and yeah we have successfully logged into our user and this user has all the privileges that are needed so as you can see here so we can create a database and all we can create tables so all the things uh, that you want we can do using this uh, user that we have created so this is how uh, you can set up your uh, php my admin and install the apache server and uh, install the required php packages and mysql okay so that's it for this video in the next video we are going to upload all the project files onto our uh, server and we are going to connect to our database also so we are going to create a database and connect it to our application so that is it for this video and i hope you like this video if you did then click on that thumbs up button and if you want to see more of these videos then do subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button down below and i'm going to give all the links for uh, the softwares that i talked about in the description down below so you can go ahead uh, on those links and download them from there so i'll meet you in the next one